Siberia is the UK's first cyber cafe. Over a cappuccino, you can try out surfing the net using one of our seven computers. Welcome to Siberia. My name is Eva and I'm one of the numerous inhabitants of the virtual community. I will take you on a wonderful journey along the net, show you the virtual land you are about to join and explain you how to behave when you finally get here. We will show you the basic steps and all you need to know to find your way around the net. Like all travelers to unknown countries, you will need to know the language, the customs and the culture of people you are about to join. We will take you through the dangerous passage of joining the net, finding the right equipment and finding the best internet provider who could protect you on your journey around the net. The internet is essentially a network of networks that spans the entire globe. It's some um, hundreds of thousands of computers, um, databases, information archives and millions of people. The internet, it's a linking of millions of computers around the world. Um, people sitting in front of computers which is linked to somebody else's computer which is linked to somebody else's computer ad infinitum. Take us into one of the games, Andrew. Games? Yes. Oh, very well. Would you? What, yeah. would you what we're going to cover over the next hour are the essentials of the internet. How do you use the net? What do you use it for and how do you get on it? We'll also clear up all the jargon from FAQs to URLs. We'll show you how to use email how to get around the World Wide Web, which is the multimedia access to the net, and what you can find once you're there. We'll look at Usenet news groups and mailing lists. Where are they and how do you join them? Then you'll find out how to search the internet. Use your computer at home to log into a system elsewhere and bring back some files from the depths of cyberspace. Once you've got a feel for the net, we'll talk about the different service providers and what they offer, so you can decide who you want to use as your connection to the internet. In this video, we'll be operating from PC windows, but any point-and-click system functions more or less the same way. It's also possible to use command line software similar to DOS. Internet. The Internet is essentially connecting computers by telephone. They communicate with each other over the line the same way you would. In terms of the Internet itself, an important question is what is it? Uh, it's actually a network of networks. You've got about 35,000 networks worldwide that are all linked by what is a common protocol. What that really means is that they exchange information in a way that each network can understand. So really it's just an open system, it's like a phone system that's connected. So they, they may be individual networks that have different quirks, but they all uh, communicate openly. You make a local phone call in this country, but you're actually talking directly to computers all over the world. Everyone has a different idea of what the internet is. The, the internet is, by its very nature, almost a sort of perfect an anarchic system. It's like anarchy in action. It's not an object. You can't put, put your finger on it and say, that is the internet. The internet is just a, a big network, just a connection of all the machines in the world. You can actually make friends with people over the net. And I do have friends that I've met over the net, and we go to concerts, and we go down the pub. But I met them through communicating with them by email. At the moment, I think, Perhaps it is a little bit, uh, perhaps, entertainment orientated. There's uh, a lot of stuff that is just taking up a lot of space and it doesn't really have a lot of, uh, say, educational or that kind of use or, or merit. Nobody controls the internet. It's a system that works because everyone pitches their little bit of the system in. It's a cooperative thing. It isn't really... It isn't something that you can, like, say, put your finger on. We're not all just people in anoraks in our sort of like darkened bedrooms in the middle of the night typing on a keyboard. We do actually see each other and have real lives as well. So what sort of people use the internet and why? 
Well, I run a business uh, which is a health and fitness centre in North London, and I do my own marketing and promotions. And on the internet, there's various ideas you can pick up for marketing and advertising. And my idea is to go on the net, so therefore I can put on a, a notice board or a billboard and see who can have any ideas towards that. Our regular, regular academics here that would normally, their nearest access to a computer is maybe using, um, I don't know, just to type documents and word processor. I mean, those sorts of people are actively being linked into the net and are now using it uh, because it is useful to them and for no other reason. Uh, and they're definitely not computer hackers or computer whiz kids or, you know, they're Macintosh vegetables. Being in architecture, I use AutoCAD a lot and I need to, there's a lot of pre-made stuff that saves me a lot of time. Um, if I can find things on the internet to download rather than having to create them from scratch myself, um, it's very, very helpful. I have it at the back of my mind to, um, to actually transmit examples of my work over the the modem to different interested parties. I'm interested in family history, genealogy, um, medieval history, social history. And I wanted to see if it's worthwhile getting a package so that I can sit at home and, and browse. But it's fun coming here. <laughs> I use the internet for accessing other people's work across the world and for accessing other pieces of software and for playing games, of course. <laughs>